Hey everybody, this is Josh, the 98 Know-It-All, and I am coming to you today with the 1988 Big Baseball Card Second Series. I'll be honest with you, I'm excited to open this box because I don't think I actually have very many of these cards in my collection. I've got a collection of probably nearing 100,000 cards, and I have tons of Topps cards, Don Russ, Topps, really the two main brands I went through but I don't remember ever in my life opening a pack from, from uh, this set, so I'm kind of excited. It's gonna be kind of brand new for me. A little vintage, of course, George Brett on the front, Hall of Famer. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open half of them for the first video and do the second half of the cards for a second video, but um, wow, vintage packs. I got these for my birthday a couple weeks ago. Been waiting to open them for a while, and today's the day, so Look at those. They're kind of a kind of small pack, so I have to see what we got. Once again, these are 1988 second series. Uh, yeah, interesting. So here, see what we got. Tim Raines, nice. Hershizer, Franklin Stubbs, Harold Reynolds. Might have to send that one in and see if I can get that one autographed through the mail. Don Baylor, Mike Marshall, and there's the George Brett, just like on the cover. Ah, not bad. I actually know most of those guys, makes it kind of nice. Jim Pinkovitz. He was actually a coach at the Arizona Fall League, I think, the first time I went down there. Kirk McCaskill, Dave Henderson, Sunberg, Browning, Henry Cotto. I actually got his autograph a few times. He's a, a roving instructor for the Giants. That's, that's kind of cool. It's really interesting to go through and uh, see cards of guys I used to watch when I was a kid and now all of a sudden you know I'm a lot older and things have changed quite a bit in the game Chris Brown Holy Whitaker Mel Hall Greg Swindell there's Bonds there we go <laughs> now for those of you who uh, collect baseball cards. If you collect back in the uh, 80s, early 90s, you'll know that most of the cards really aren't worth much anymore um, because they just produce so many of them. But honestly, I don't really care because once again, this is the era that I grew up in. I love getting stuff like that. So I'm loving it. Doug Drabeck, also another guy that I've gotten quite a few autographs from. Uh, he was a uh, coach in the Diamondback system. So Pretty cool guy, actually. Pretty fun. Howard Johnson, another Franklin Stubbs, another Reynolds. Baylor's like we're getting some of the some duplicates here. Mike Marshall, Bob Brindley. Not bad. Pedro Guerra, I recognize that name. Rick Sutcliffe, there we go. Greg Walker. Kind of like the, uh, where it's not just the head over the whole picture, because those are really horrible for autographs, because then you just, guy ends up signing across his face, but having these cards where it's a little bit of their face, a little bit of the action shot, makes it a little bit easier for autographs and kind of cool as well. Packages are actually opening a lot easier than I thought they would. Lloyd Mosby. Oh, there's the checklist. I haven't seen a checklist in so long. Huh. 
I remember the days when checklists were in every stinking pack, even when you didn't want them. The Ageless Wonder, Julio Franco, Brett Butler, one of my personal favorites when he was a, a player and now a coach. He's actually a, a very good coach as well. So crazy to think these are from 1988 and they're just unopened. There's actually a card shop near where I live. Um, sorry guys, I won't tell you where because I like to go down and buy these boxes. I actually have three more boxes of uh, different sets. I think I've got like a uh, Don Russ set and another two top sets I'm going to do box breaks of over the next couple of days. So, and he's got a lot more down there. And once again, I'm not going to tell you where because I uh, want to buy more of these. Gaetti. Rich Gedman, also a coach, I think, of the Arizona Fall League when I was down there a few years ago. Jim Presley. The cool thing about getting the older cards like this, one, is, you know, granted, that's when I grew up, and so I enjoy uh, kind of reliving my past, but also a lot of these guys are coaches now, uh, whether it be at college or uh, in the minor leagues. And you get their autographs, and it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. A lot of the older guys, when they're coaching, oh, Jack Morris, will sit and talk. Um, a lot of fun. I love sitting down and just listening to guys talk about their playing days, talk about the teammates they had. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. In fact, still the best storyteller I've ever met in minor league baseball is uh, Tom Troublehorn, who was the uh, – he coached the Cubs for a little while. But then uh, Coach the uh, Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, he had some of the best stories ever. He was just so much fun to talk with. I loved sitting down listening to him talk. Stillwell, Mark Langston, former Mariner. Scott, whoa, that's weird. I haven't seen that happen at all. Juan Castillo. First time I've seen them flipped differently and they're kind of stuck together. Jose Rear Bay. Let's see what we got here. It's one of the downfall of order cards. Been together so long that. There we go. I saw a gap right there. There we go. So they're kind of stuck together. Didn't really damage them, but once again, cards from this era really aren't worth much other than nostalgic value, so I'm cool with it. Okay, let's do another stack and then we'll take a break and start the second video. Candiotti, Tim Raines, Hershizer. Not bad. And even the packs are stuck together. I haven't even looked at the back at all on these. I have to take a second and do that. Oh, the old cartoons on the back. Todd Worrell. Todd has three saves in World Series play. NL Rookie of the Year in 1986. And one of his favorite activities is swimming. Huh. Little tidbits about the guys, which is kind of cool. Mitch Webster. Ozzy Virgil. So far, I like these. I mean... Yeah, I'm not going to get any of these guys to uh, out playing right now and get an autograph from them. I have to either see where they're coaching or try and do some through the mail stuff, which I haven't done much of lately, but I'm going to try and get back into that. My best through the mail autograph ever is Joe Montana, which, even though I'm not a huge football fan, I do respect Joe Montana. There we go. 
Randy Reddy, coached for a while. Jack Morris again. No. All the little plastic cards are all the old giveaways they used to do. I forgot about that. Don't think I actually ever tried to do any of the giveaways. Devon White, that's a good one. Grew up watching him a lot. Brett Butler again. Had 93 bunt singles with the Indians. That's a lot of bunt singles. So it does say these are big baseball cards, and I do think, just by looking at them, they are a little bit bigger than normal, but nothing significant. still think they'd probably fit in the boxes. Ken Griffey, I uh, got to meet him when he was playing with the Mariners with his son, Griffey Jr. That was one of the coolest baseball moments in my life. It was so amazing. Uh, I guess I sat and talked to them for a while. Very cool guys. My dad actually got to watch Griffey Sr. Um, as a rookie when he was with Cincinnati, so... A uh, lot of, lot of uh, history for that, for that, with my family. Mike Morgan, oh, the Hawk. Nice. So we got a few more, and then we'll take a break. Clamp the mess before my wife sees all the stuff I have out. Some, oh, Ricky Anderson. George Brad, I gotta see what the back of this one says. Uh, his brother Ken plays, was a former big leaguer, I knew that. Uh, two other brothers are former minor leagues. I did not know he had other brothers that played in the minor leagues. That is something I did not know. So four brothers played in minor league baseball and two of them made the major league level. That's pretty cool. Now, I do have some interesting stories about George Brett. Um, not my favorite all-time player. Um, probably not even in my top ten because of certain certain stories I have. And maybe one of these days I'll share about those. I know Kelly is well aware of my uh, feelings towards Brett Butler. Or towards George Brett, I'm sorry. Uh, Steve Bouchelle's son actually played for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes uh, one of the years I was down there interning. God, and the ugly Astros uniforms. I'm sorry, but those things are ugly. Not the worst uniforms they ever had, but they're not great. Let's see what else we got. Gotten, I've seen some doubles, but could be worse. Because I haven't seen any replica packs where the packs are exactly the same back to back. Whitaker, I think it's my third one of Whitaker. There's another Bonds. Okay, one more pack for this video. Let's see what we get. I am going to do a, a second video for the rest of the packs and uh, now I'm kind of see what's, what's going on. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I got a lot of videos for um, 
interviews, local players, also doing some stuff with more box breaks. You got some other vintage box breaks. Mike Morgan, another Andre Dawson, Brian Fisher, and Jack Morris. So, yeah. So, don't worry, guys. I will uh, put a link to the next video. Um, it'll probably show up somewhere down this area, uh, hopefully. And uh, just click on it, watch the next video, and don't forget to subscribe. And, guys, uh, tell me some of the cool packs that you guys have opened, some vintage ones, and, and uh, kind of compare and see what you got. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.